Care is an essential practice that brings people together in processes of social change, while at the same time caring for their different needs in everyday lives. Mostly, this aspect of life in our organizing is often invisible and overlooked. But care represents an essential connecting tissue of collective organizing to balance each activist's well-being in order to enable them to bring a social transformation together. We believe that the ethics of care should be one of the core values in municipalist movements because municipalist movements are about uh, changing the way we do politics. And care brings us to this level. Care helps us introduce participatory mechanisms. It helps us uh, demand to demand cooperation, to patiently see consensus, and as well as you know, externally caring for the community and the environment. We need to start this political transformation within our movements and spaces and prioritize care, care because we can make them more democratic and participatory that way. Social change movements are dynamic environments with hectic timetables, with tight schedule, with family duties and management or lack of management of mental and physical health, which leads us to exhaustion and burnout. Uh, as we stated within the Feminization of Politics report, we organize in order to uh, bring discourses, strategies and tools that can help movements organize to break these oppressions and introduce care in activist spaces. From the moment of formal establishment, I would say that the instruments of our government are these formal documents that uh, we work very hard uh, to, to adopt uh, and to, to create uh, inclusively and of course to um, acknowledge our current state of organization, not, not to think about uh, uh, far uh, away future, but to adopt, adopt it through, through time. And care is one of the essential principles and values uh, in our um, basically constitutional document, our statute, and also a code of ethics. Um, but I would say that uh, up till now, we thought about care much more externally in terms of you know, care public policies, how we care for public goods and cultural and natural uh, resources of, of our city, or of our country, or, and of the entire planet. Um, but uh, not so much structurally as part of our organization. Uh, of course, uh, it's there, we talk about it, but it's not uh, still institutionalized and uh, as we would like it to be. And this is what we are working um, right now. Um, uh, the form of our organization changed over, th over time. At, at first, it was not uh, formally registered. It was just a, uh, basically horizontal structure of friends and political friends who joined to fight uh, injustice and, and detrimental project uh, such as Belgrade Waterfront. But with time, with many people joined the movement, uh, uh, everybody realized that we need to rethink the way we communicate and uh, establish our mutual relationships. Uh, so um, it, it went through several participatory processes to establish the form that we have now. And it, it, it changed uh, uh, over time and it will change uh, in time uh, as we expect to grow um, you know, progressively as, as, we did, uh, as we did so far. As we changed our uh, first informal and then formal structure, uh, very regularly, we didn't have estab one established procedure uh, about how we assess uh, our work because this also changed with every change of the structure. Uh, but I think uh, also this is something that it's important to establish even with these changes. So we, it kind of it worked uh, um, because we had a feeling that we need to assess uh, uh, every now and then, uh, but more intuitively than. Um, than uh, based on some procedure. And this is something that we definitely need to include in our, in our documents. Managing care in our collectives, it's not only a woman's job. It is traditionally distributed and expected to be. It includes managing tasks like housekeeping or daily operation, within the organization or having the burden of responsibility and caring both for their work, activists and personal life. 
the dimensions of care within a political movement that needed to be taken into account are work-life balance, acknowledging invisible tasks, psychological and emotional support, open, sensitive and inclusive communication and decision-making processes based on consensus building. In order to start this political transformation and introduce care in the Davimo Beograd collective that I belong to, we wanted to start with a question. We wanted to ask uh, our core activists uh, through a survey to see how they're feeling and how they think that behaviors and organizing within a movement reflects uh, their each of individual needs and cares. Uh, this, is, this survey was the first step, an intentional step to bring uh, care from an interpersonal and informal practice to an actual organizational one. Work-life balance is essential for true and transformative participation of women within our movements, as they still carry a larger burden of balancing home, work and ac activist duties, which lead to exhaustion and burnout. By adjusting to these realities within our everyday organizing through sensitive scheduling times for meetings, introducing childcare spaces and similar. Emotional and psychological support is crucial in reliving the intensity of everyday pressure and political backlash, which usually disproportionately affects women, LGBT, disabled and person of color in public sphere. We looked at a few aspects of care that we recognize that are important to our movement. One of them is actual everyday emotional support that they receive, uh, invisible tasks uh, that are probably not acknowledged and valued, uh, how the decision making uh, goes and how, the power how they view power mechanisms, as well as work life and activism balance. What the opinions within the survey told us and the findings is something that I believe are some common struggles and common issues in, in political movements. Uh, some people perceived that uh, it's easier to express themselves while with, when you're loud and confident. We realized that uh, informal care tasks are invisible when you need to inform and bring support to people. Uh, and definitely one of the conclusions is that we are missing a support group. Uh, our takeaway is really to be intentional about how we do it. We're actually being advised to be systematic and more organized in how we support our membership. So one of the things we wanted to do is to introduce an internal democracy group, which will from now on uh, take care of the information flow and, and caring for the members. And also one of the next steps is to take a retreat where we can actually intentionally as a group uh, make a care plan together. As one of our, uh, as one of our respondents, as one of our activists within the survey said, uh, informal organizing often leads to a burnout and exhaustion of one group of people, while at the same time it prevents political power to reach a wider movement. And we take these words and we take them seriously. There are tasks that I see that we need to institutionally um, um, develop and, and over, you know, oversee um, are how we redistribute uh, various responsibilities. They're not necessarily always just care responsibilities, but care responsibilities are very important. How we organize meetings to include everyone, uh, how we think about people who maybe take upon themselves too many uh, responsibilities and then um, have uh, you know responsibility over the political project and then they stop stop caring for themselves which can lead into burnout situation and then will end up leaving the movement which is bad I, th I think we need to establish actually uh, either a body or you know some kind of a, a task force to think about it consistently not just uh, whenever we somebody uh, uh, notices that there is a problem uh, this is this is very very important um, how we and and to um, besides the urgency of the external 
of problems that we need to deal with, uh, you know, to react uh, expectations of, of citizens and supporters, that we find time to socialize uh, because oftentimes, you know, this balance between your private life and professional duties and political activism can really take, um, take on a toll. Uh, so we need to structurally think uh, uh, more about it and um, connect this external uh, care policy policies with internal uh, care policies that would be uh, designed according to our experience and our needs at this stage of development and then change over time. Invisible tasks of daily operating, such as housekeeping and administration, need to be properly valued, acknowledged and distributed so that they do not overburden only a few people in the background. Activists that support and sustain the movement need to have a say and sit at the table where the decisions are made. Inclusive communication bring us all at the table on equal terms. We can start simple and deliberate practices of empowering those underrepresented and opening spaces to actively contribute in discussion and everyday communication. These efforts, all bound by intentional and patient consensus building in the spaces where decisions are made, to ensure participatory practices.